Hello and welcome back to SAP S4HANA Asset Management Training. We are still exploring the Fiori Launchpad, looking at the apps under the order group. And this time I'm going to look at the Create Maintenance Order app. So I'm going to click on the app. That gets me to the Create Order screen. I need to populate the order type, which is a mandatory field. I will select PM01. Then I'm going to assign priority 04. Then technical object for which I'm creating this work order is the hydraulic pump. And you can populate the rest of the information here or later. The bottom left, you can see that you can create an order by copying it from an existing order. So I'm going to click on continue. That gets me to create order screen. And we have several tabs at the top. We have the general data, location data, organization data, operation data, object list, cost, documents, permit, safety plan, and material overview. We're going to look at the general data area here. The first information you need to enter is the description. Then as you can see, we have several fields for dates such as start date, required, add date, scheduled, add date, and so on. So bottom left, we have the hydraulic pump, which is our technical object that we entered earlier. To the right, we have priority four. Again, that is information that we entered earlier. Then the bottom right there, you see assigned notification. We don't have a notification for this work order because it's a new one. So we can click on assign notification and also assign task list. So scrolling up, we have several other tabs, but this time I'm gonna focus on the operation data tab. We created operations in an earlier video, so you can watch that video to see how operations are created. And that you do that by copying. But this time I want, I want to explore some of the options that we have for the control key. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the on that field, and it's gonna bring up some of those options that we have. So as you can see here, anything that has PM, that's a plant maintenance, and mostly that's what we use in uh, our control key in this section here. The next tab is the number of required capacities, which is usually given in hours. You could have one hour for two resources or two resources for one hour. The bottom section, as we scroll down here, external service, this is where you need your job or work order to be executed by an external vendor. And you need some additional data to have that done. So if I click on external data tab, I need to populate operation quantity, press per unit, vendor, agreement, uh, slash item. You can click on those fields and populate them accordingly. For service packages, sometimes we have packages in the system that we have already created. And scrolling down here, we need to select the service selection. And you'll see uh, some of the selections that we have. So the first thing you need to populate here are these three fields. The model serv service spec, the purchase requisition, and the purchase document. So you can click on each of those fields and uh, you can pull up the required data from the drop downs. And you can also click on the search and uh, you can search your model specs from there. So I'm going to press OK here. And that gets us to the select services as reference. And here I have the services that I mentioned earlier. We have services for forklifts 
services for pumps, services for motors. So these are services that you may have already put in the system and then you can select them and uh, have them added to your work order. So I'm going to press OK. And then save. And then my order number has been saved, 4169. So all the information that we added in the operation section has been added to the system. External data, remember we looked at that. And then if you scroll down, there's a section where you may need to enter additional data like notes and remarks. And then finally you can go ahead and save. So that is how we work with a create maintenance order and we went ahead and worked on this, this screen which is change maintenance order. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.